Monica with It's Just Sewing, and you're about to watch a quick snip from my video, Anatomy of the Sewing Machine, part of my Learn to Sew Basic series. If you're interested in learning more about sewing or you want projects that are perfectly tailored for beginners, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at itsjustsewing.com. Thank you so much for popping by, and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye! Okay, so now we're going to talk about the presser foot and the lever. The presser foot is located by the needle and right above the face plate, which is this area right here. And the lever is located in what is called the throat of the sewing machine. So here's our lever and here's our presser foot. Now, the presser foot has two to three different positions depending on your sewing machine. It has the natural upright position, which is at, it's out right now, and that's how you get your fabric in. And then it's got the lower position, providing pressure to your fabric, and it, on some machines it will have an additional hiked up, manual hiked up position to bring the presser foot even higher for big lofty projects so they can fit underneath that presser foot. So the presser foot is super important because, like I said, it provides pressure to your fabric, and this is really important. Most people will stop sewing at a certain point um, in their sewing experience for this number one reason. What will happen is they'll put their fabric in and they start to sew, but their fabric isn't moving and all of a sudden their needle gets jammed inside of the machine and they go to move the hand wheel the, and they can't get it to move. And when they finally get their fabric out and they turn it over, what they're going to see on the back is like a mess of thread. And that is nothing more than not dropping the presser foot before you sew. And the reason why is the presser foot provides pressure to your fabric. So if the presser foot isn't down, your fabric's not going anywhere, and your needle is going up and down, and that's what causes a huge jam. So the presser foot and this noise is my favorite thing. You've got to always drop that presser foot before you can sew. Now one of the best features on a new sewing machine like these is that it actually will not let you sew unless the presser foot is dropped and that's going to save you mounds and mounds and mounds of worry and concern, um, especially if you're working with children. So it's an added feature. It's the number one thing that I would look for on a brand new sewing machine, but if you don't have it, now you know how important it is to drop your presser foot before you begin to sew.